Today's story is called Legs, Wings, Fins, and Flippers. If you notice and pay attention to the illustrations or the photos that you see within this story, <clears throat> you notice that these, um, this is a nonfiction story, which means that we are learning new information that we can apply in our everyday life. So as you read the story, I want you to think about this following question. What is the main idea of the book? What are supporting details for the main idea? And we will also discuss an activity to do at the end. Let's get started. This story is written by Kyra Freed. We have our table of contents here, which gives us information on where we can lo locate specific details about the um, animals. Introduction. Animals move in many ways. Animals have different body parts to help them move. On land. Most animals that live on land have legs. Animals can have different numbers of legs. Horses have long legs to run fast. Frogs have long back legs to leap. Some animals have no legs. These animals slide their bodies to move. In the air, birds, bats, and many insects use wings to fly. Animals can have two wings or four wings. Chicks can't fly until they grow strong feathers. Animal wings come in many shapes and sizes. In water, fish use fins and tails to move through the water. Whales have fins and flippers, but seals, sea lions, and sea turtles only have flippers. Penguins are birds, but they have flippers instead of wings. Penguins swim to hunt fish in the ocean. On land, they can walk or they can slide on their bellies. Some animals that live in water have webbed feet. Webbed feet help animals swim better. Conclusion. Watch how animals move in the world around you. Think about the body parts that help animals move. Think about how you move too. So your activity to complete this read aloud for today, you are going to take a sheet of paper and I want you to fold it so that you have four boxes. So you'll fold it in half and then you'll fold it again in half, open up the paper and you'll have four boxes. I want you to choose four animals from this book that you've seen and you're going to create a picture that shows their habitat. Their habitat is the area where they um, live. So think about where you see these animals often and you're going to draw a picture and how they use their body to move. So in box one, you'll have your first animal draw the habitat around it along with the animal and you're going to write a sentence and describing how they move. Same goes for box two with a different animal. You're going to draw a picture to show the habitat and the animal and how they move, okay? That's all for now today. Um, that's all for now. I look forward to seeing your beautiful pictures about the animals that we discussed today.
and I hope you enjoyed our read aloud.